Again, soles of your feet together, knees out wide. If you have a bolster and a block, that's wonderful. If you don't, that's also fine. Um, again, starting to move down on your backs, allowing your knees to fall open with gravity, allowing your shoulders to fall open with gravity as well. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. <clears throat> And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over on 
down to your right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Scooch back so that you're on your bolster just slightly. Flex your feet, sit up straight. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the right. East and west. Drag your shoulders back and down as much as you can. And then drag that left elbow down on the outside of your right knee. Make mudras with both sets of fingers. Again, continue to drag those shoulders back and down. And breathe as you open up to the side wall. Open those hearts. Open those right obliques as you do. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you open up to the left, east and west. And smile, it's Tuesday. Draw that right elbow down on the outside of your left knee. Make mudras with both sets of fingers. The first day of March. And smile. Again, opening up those left obliques this time, working on dragging your shoulders back and down as much as possible. Slowly inhale as you draw those arms up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Place your arms on either your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up. Make some space and exhale down. Chin to shin. And then just curl in. In Dandasana, staff pose. Again, we're here for three minutes. Make sure that your heels are comfortable, that they're not on a hard surface. Breathing in and out. over halfway there. If you found any space to move into, do so now. Again, as you breathe in, find where there's resistance 
sense in the body. As you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. So today we have Gordon Smith, who's going to be speaking at one o'clock, and he is one of the nicest people in the world, and I love his Scottish accent. I am such a uh, oh, lover of Scottish accents, just like Son Sean Connery, actually, I think is as Welsh though. But anyway, um, we're having him speak today, and then Evan Alexander and his partner, Karen Newell, will be speaking on Thursday. And again, any time that any of you are interested in joining the Zoom meeting to hear them speak, you're welcome to do so so healing and uplifting but they'll be available on the youtube channel after as well let's take two more deep breaths here in and out slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your left knee, drawing your left heel to your sit bone. Flex that right foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Hinge at the hips. Reach, reach, reach all the way down this time, chin to shin and then just curl in, in half Dandasana. And we're here for three minutes, allowing the fascia to open. Make sure that you're comfortable. It's always possible to put a block on either side of your calf, calves, if that's something that would be more comfortable for you. You can put a bolster on your thigh. Again, opening up through the breath. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out.
Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you drop that right knee to your left knee. Twisting to the back of the room, place your hands on either side of the bolster, scooch your hips back. Inhale first, exhale as you walk those hands forward. Placing your right cheek on the block. By the way, I am really sad and I'm not sure what to do now, but Ashley has left the library and she's the one who organizes the classes there. She had said that we would start classes in person again um, in March and so I've had lots of people asking me if we're going to be meeting on Thursday. But she told me in the email to call the library, which goes to voicemail. So I'm going to have to figure out how to contact the small groups coordinator or the groups coordinator. Um, and see about whether or not we can start again. So wanted to let you know I'm sad because Ashley was such a sweetheart and I'm not sure if she's just gotten a better opportunity or if she just is moving or something. And in this position, we're twisting, twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks. Massaging our internal organs, releasing toxins as we do. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. <clears throat> then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs in front of you. Shake them out. Sit up straight, maybe scooch back so that your hips are on your bolster. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that right knee, dragging your right heel back towards your sit bone. Flex that left foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. All the way down, chin to shin. And then just curl in. In half Dandasana. Breathing in and out.
Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out, in half Dandasana. Then slowly inhale as we walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that left knee to your right knee, twisting to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of the bolster, sit up straight. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk those hands forward. Placing that left cheek on the block in a full body twist. Breathing in and out, dragging your heart down towards the mat as much as you can. Take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back. Twisting to the front of the room, shake your legs out. Job. Then from here, come up to the tops of your mats in Sukhasana. We're just going to open up our core. Place your hands on your knees. Inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale as you slide that right hand down as far as you can. Your left hip down, left knee down. Drag your left shoulder back and down. Breathe into those left obliques and smile. Opening up those left obliques. Releasing toxins as we do. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. 
Inhale, that right arm all the way up. Exhale as you slide that left hand down, looking up towards the ceiling, dragging that right shoulder back and down. Drag your right hip down and smile. Inhale back to center, exhale first, and then from here, inhale that right arm up, exhale as you bend your elbow, place the palm of your hand in between your shoulder blades, inhale that left arm up, grab your elbow and exhale over to the left. Looking up towards the ceiling, opening up that right shoulder and smile. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale down. Inhale, that left arm up. Exhale as you bend your elbow. Inhale that right arm up, grab your elbow, and exhale over to the right, looking up towards the ceiling, breathing in and out. And smile. It's Tuesday, the first day of the month. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale down, good job. And now we're going to move to the wall. So if you have a wall handy, move your mat so that it is facing the wall so that we can start with legs up the wall. Make sure that you keep your block handy. And then maybe place your bolster on your mat. And to get your legs up the wall, again, place your hips sitting sideways, bending your knee up against the wall. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend those legs upward. Scoot your hips in as much as you can using your elbows. Maybe flex your feet. And then lie back on your bolster. And legs straight up. Again, we're allowing the circulation to come back down to our brain and our vital organs. Keeping ourselves from getting varicose veins. Keeping our feet and ankles from swelling. And again, this is a wonderful way to calm down before you go to sleep and to stay asleep at night.
let's take two more deep breaths here in and out And slowly inhale and exhale as you allow your legs to fall open with gravity. Breathing in and out. Again, this is Dragonfly. You might be able to open up even more through the breath. Again, breathing in and out. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale back to center. Exhale as you place the soles of your feet together, dragging the blades of your feet down the wall into Baddha Konasana, pressing those knees open as much as possible, breathing in and out.
Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you extend those legs above you. Exhale as you bend your right leg, dragging the sole of your right foot down the wall, bending your knee. Cross that right foot over your left knee, just below the knee. Press on that right knee to open up that right hip. And if this is in your practice, bend that left knee, dragging the sole of your left foot down the wall, opening up that hip even more. In resting pigeon with legs up the wall, wherever you are is perfect. The more intense the stretch, the more your hip might, might start to shake which is a good thing. It means that the fascia is opening, but in any of these yin positions, make sure that nothing that you do has any shooting pain. It can be slightly uncomfortable, but it should never ever be painful. Take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you extend those legs. Exhale as you bend your left knee, dragging the sole of your left foot down the wall. Cross that underneath right knee, press on that left knee to open up that left hip. And then if this is in your practice, bend your right knee, dragging the sole of your right foot down the wall as far as you can, opening up that hip even more as you do. Breathing in and out in resting pigeon with legs up the wall. Thank you. 
Let's take two more deep breaths here in and out in Resting Pigeon. slowly inhale as you extend those legs up. Exhale as you draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. And then from here, roll over onto your right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. And using the strength of your arms, come up and drag your bolster back to the end of your mat. Make sure that your block is behind you. Come down on your backs. Extend your legs. Bend your knees. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Take your block. Inhale as you push your hips up, placing the block underneath your sacrum. On the highest, the second, or the third levels, wherever you are is perfect. And then maybe walk your feet out. Possibly draw those arms overhead if you'd like in a T formation or a mushroom formation, opening up that lower back region as much as possible. Breathing in and out. Draw those arms back overhead. Walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up. Release the block and exhale down. Draw those knees in for a hug. Place your feet as wide as the mat. Arms are out east and west. Inhale first. Exhale as your knees fall down to the left as far as you can. Look over to the right side. Windshield wipers. Inhale back to center. Exhale down to the right. Look over to the left side. Inhale back to center, exhale to the left, and this time place that left foot on top of your right thigh, look off to the right <clears throat> in a more intense stretch. Release that left foot, inhale back to center, and exhale down to the right. Place that right foot on top of your left foot or left thigh. Look off to the left and breathe. Slowly release that right foot. Inhale those knees back to center, draw them in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax 
Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys, slowly roll over to the right side in the people position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, Come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practice this week. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday, the first day of the month. Again, if you paid already, thank you so much. If not, please do so. Stay safe. And all of us together, Send as much love as possible out into the world. Make peace the only choice. Namaste. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And it was great to see you guys. Going to go ahead and stop right